So today we thought it'd be fun to talk about our top favorite Amazon purchases because I don't know about you but I've been on Amazon a lot lately. <laughs> A little extra more than usual. It's also just stuff we've bought on Amazon within the last year or two, maybe maybe year two or three. Full disclosure, we just joined the Amazon affiliate program where basically all it is is that we have links in the description for every item we're going to mention and we get like a small profit, like a small commission fee if you click our link and buy it through our link. That's all it is. It doesn't change anything from your end, you don't pay any extra, you're just using our link and then Amazon sees it as like we we got you there. So I yeah, guess that's right. just how it works. Anything that we mention that you want to try, just click our link and we'll get like, I don't know, a few cents or something. <laughs> this is a quarantine purchase. So we've been making these a green screen. I'll link our first one up above. It's when, when you miss Disney. Mm -hmm. And that was our first inspiration to decide to use the green screen. And then since then we've kind of made several more videos yeah. with it. Some might say that the first one's the best one, but... <laughs> that was our favorite so far, yeah. yeah. It's actually kind of the inspiration why I joined the Amazon affiliate program. We've had like a three or four of our friends who decided to buy green screens as well. This green screen, if you want to travel or do stuff and you can't because you're at home and you want to film things, it's it's kind of a cool idea. It, it does the job, you know, and it makes it more fun. Yeah, Something it's fun, like a uh, extra creative, you know, thing Wait, to add. Yeah, um, another thing that we use since we've gotten it and actually is we can't show it to you right now i, I guess I'll, I'll start a clip it's the camera that we use oh yeah that is the best purchase we've ever made on amazon I think so. <laughs> actually we have this is our second one we're on the first one lasted maybe three years and then it died Pretty the much. screen something about that something detached, detached yeah. and, but we ended up buying the second one because that's how much we love the canon g7x it's really a great camera and it's not a super expensive camera especially not now when we bought it, it was a little bit right. more. It was more expensive. Yeah. Now it's gone down. Another thing we use often, which is also right in front of us, is the ring lights. Mm -hmm. And that is a really good Amazon purchase. Obviously, you cannot always work with the best light, and a ring light is the way to go. And we spent so long doing other ways to have light. Like, there was a time where I would attach my phone with tape. Oh my goodness. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Oh, no. It's okay. If it falls, it's already cracked, so what's the worst that could happen? This gets more cracked. <laughs> and, and the, ring the lights flashlight like forty dollars, so it's kind of ridiculous. It's not even yeah, it's a, it's not that expensive. It's better so that you can like right now we're filming at night. And if we you used to only have to film during the daytime in order to get the light. So definitely a great Amazon purchase. So that's all like related to like videos and YouTube. But now going mm. into like home stuff, like life at home. Yeah. This is probably the next thing I wanted to mention. It is the oil diffuser that you got me for Christmas like two years ago or something. One of the best purchases you've got me because I almost use it every single day. I mean I go through phases. Sometimes I like candles and then sometimes I go back to the diffuser. This brand is Eden's Garden. They do, you can buy them on Amazon. You can also buy them through their website but on Amazon you can, you can buy them as well. And um, some of my favorite ones I have right now are like, there's an immunity one, there's one that's called Breathe Easier. We also use lavender at night when we want to go to sleep and we kind of want to relax. And I think an old diffuser is great because you just, uh, unlike candles, you have to keep buying candles. Yeah. You can just keep using this and all you got to buy is the oil. Yeah, this is the cheap part, but the oils, the oils are not that expensive while. and they yeah. last a while. Yeah, you don't have to put that many drops in the water. Oh, another thing I wanted to mention that comes out in like almost all, a lot of our videos is this tree you got me for Christmas from Amazon. And the the birds did not come with it. I added the birds. Yeah. Because I got them during the Christmas time, and then I just never took them off because they look cool. But this tree, I mean, we put it over here for the videos, but it sits in the corner of our living room, and it's just like a cozy spot. And this tree is like, it just makes the whole room look so much prettier. It's so it's just a simple thing. Nice little touch. Yeah, I know you hate putting the Christmas tree away. <laughs> Because you like it, you know. I know, I love the way the Christmas right. tree looks in the side so, of my living room. I figured you needed a tree. This is like an all year long Christmas right. tree. <laughs> so another thing that I've been doing lately, especially, but I've been doing this for years, but especially lately, coloring books, adult coloring books. So I actually got these two coloring books like years ago. You bought me this one, okay, and right. then I bought this one for myself. I'm gonna link down below a few of the ones on Amazon that are similar to this, or maybe I could find the exact ones that I, one of these are called Enchanted Forest. I love this coloring book especially. I'm gonna like insert some clips of the, of what I've colored so far. I'm almost done with this entire book, which wow. is crazy. 
but basically it's just the most therapeutic experience and I know it sounds so silly like coloring I have tried markers I've tried colored pencils I've tried crayons I tried all types of different ways to color and the best way to color is gel pens which takes me back to my childhood because gel pens were like everything back in elementary school and all that so I have all my gel pens <laughs> they glide so nice and I love the glitter ones and there's something so satisfying about coloring with gel pens. I would love a Disney one, but I have not seen that yet. Maybe there are. I gotta look it up. Another thing that I wanted to mention that you use every single night, ever since you got it, oh, yeah. is right behind you. <laughs> Weighted blanket. Now, I have not hopped on this trend just yet. Right. I'm thinking about doing it though. But basically, it's a weird concept. When he told me he wanted a weighted blanket, I was like, why do you want to have like a heavy blanket on you? Isn't it like kind of weird? Have Not you felt up. like you've noticed a difference since you've gone the weighted blanket? Uh, in the beginning I did. Not that... Maybe you're just used to it now? That's what I think. So I think I'm still getting, you know, what I want out of it. I'm I just wonder not if, used you can, to it. if it can get heavier. Yeah, I can. So if it, you get used to the weight, I want, you know, I want to get a heavier one. <laughs> I was afraid to get the 20 pound one. Cause I thought and this is heavy already. This is 15 pounds. 15 pounds. I wanted the 20, but I was like, that might be too much. It makes sense. You have something heavy on you, so you feel supported and you feel like still. I mean, uh, it's also used for like people that, uh, you know, loneliness, I guess. Like you feel like you're being cuddled. Maybe if you have you know, anxiety homeless. or yeah, yeah. if you're like sleeping alone and you want right. like, to feel supported. It makes sense. Kind of a weird purchase, but kind of like... Yeah, it was... That was a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> but we but use it, it every single night, so I right. wanted to mention it because it's like, hey, if it's helping you sleep, we should mention it because there's plenty, plenty of people out there probably not getting good sleep. And if there's something you can try, might as well try it. Yeah. So I thought we would talk about like kitcheny stuff now, like stuff because we're we're obviously in the kitchen a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Especially our videos have been a lot in the kitchen. We I just posted one recently called uh, top ten like easy recipes for Peter Joe's. I'll link that up above. We've been cooking a lot more, especially. Yeah, I think so. So one thing that I feel that you bought on Amazon that's one of your favorite purchases that I've seen you use is your smoker. You use it maybe once or twice a week. Right. We're not going to smoke food every single day. Once or twice a week is already a lot for but, some people, I'm sure. But yeah, when he uses that smoker and cooks up a steak or the other yeah. day he made ribs. Right. It's a grill slash so smoker good. or smoker slash grill, but it's a pellet grill. So it uses little pieces of wood that you put into it and it kind of just heats it up and that's it. It runs on, I mean, on wood. It, it Whatever he does, it makes the meat taste amazing. <laughs> So I'm pretty yeah. sure it's just the slow, the slow rate of cooking that keeps right. it tender. The barbecue, and... yeah. Another thing that we bought on Amazon that we use pretty often and I think is a good purchase is the Vitamix, which oh yeah, we have it over there. I'll show it now in a clip. But the Vitamix is like one of those things that obviously a blender is a blender, and people can assume all blenders are the same, but they're not. Some blenders cannot right. blend as well as others. <laughs> And uh, I used to have the Magic Bullet, I used to have the Nutribullet. The right. Vitamix is great if you're going to make more complex If you're going to make complex things. stuff, You can make nut amounts, butter. You can make we made nut, nut butter. butter with that. You can make yeah. actual Ca nut milk. Made, right? Nut I milk. made cashew milk not that long ago and I was surprised that I sauces, could do it. Sauces. It's, it's great know, for sauces. It's great for... Obviously, smoothies. Right. We had a know. phase where we were obsessed with smoothies when we first got it. And obviously, it's one of those blenders that makes the smoothies smooth. <laughs> Unlike other blenders where it's cl That's how it was for us in the, with the what, Nutribullet. Well, that's why we decided to get the Vitamix. Right. Because we kept making smoothies and they would come out with little it, it, we just couldn't clumps. Yeah. I think it's it. the best blender for the price. Are there better blenders? Of course. Uh, but they're more expensive. And they're probably a more expensive Vitamix. Oh, yeah. You know, they're pretty much Vitamix is... But I'm going to link... The one that we have, Generally are the best which blenders. I think is a pretty standard fine. Yeah, it's not the you know. It's not the best of the best, but no. it's not the most you know. But if it's you want a better lowest. one, right. like for the most, right. you can get you can go oh, deeper yeah. with you that can for spend sure. Spend probably ten thousand dollars on a blender. Oh my god! <laughs> if you want, to. I don't see why you need to. But so if you've seen our weekly vlogs, you know that he has been fermenting his own sauerkraut, which is pretty cool. Now the, the first time we ever tried to ferment sauerkraut, yeah, didn't, I didn't go right. Work out so well. Well, because we didn't have these things, right. and this is the part that is the I didn't have on. anything to weigh down the actual sauerkraut. Right. So you need to keep it submerged underwater, uh -huh. so that there's no oxygen getting to it. And so I couldn't do that. We didn't know what to use the first time you were using I, I like, grabbed rocks, like, like real rocks. I, I washed. <laughs> you were using rocks. all these different they things. They were like pebbles that I found somewhere in the house. We're gonna make 
Sauerkraut. Fermented cabbage. We read somewhere that cap that for sauerkraut to be like, I think, hold on. What's the way I'm, how am I trying to? The way it down somehow. We don't know if the sauerkraut's gonna work out. We're putting a cheesecloth with rocks in it, like rocks are in here, to weigh down the sauerkraut. I don't know what I'm talking about here. I don't know if the sauerkraut's working out for us. It's starting to smell bad. It's only been two days. <laughs> So I don't think we did it right. I don't know. Just don't listen to us. We don't know what we're doing. And then the sauerkraut went bad. I don't know. It was just But this not good. top properly keeps it so that yep. it's airtight. So I can airtight it. And then there's a suction thing that you put right here and you suck out the air. But let me tell you, making our own sauerkraut, I've gotten so picky. I don't like most sauerkraut. I only like ours. Like, yeah. I don't like other well, you also sauerkrauts. Don't, you don't want to see a sauerkraut that you want the... I want the red cabbage red one. Cabbage. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why. I don't like sauerkraut that's white. It has right. to be red. But the one he makes is my favorite. He puts like spices in it. Like, what do you put in it? I do experimental ones. Yeah, you put all kinds of yeah. spices. One more thing that I'll mention. Oh, here's this, another Amazon purchase. It's a mandolin. And that's how you this is shave what your sauerkraut. I got this just for sauerkraut. Right. And so it comes he gets with, the cabbage. Uh, and... I don't know if this came with a protective glove, but I also have one of those too. I'll link that also down my, below. <laughs> my fingers to fly off. <laughs> Now, if there's one thing that I have purchased for you on Amazon that you use constantly is the ice molds. The yeah. giant ice cube round circular ice molds. If you saw our video where we did the cocktail like style bar video, I'll link that above as well. We talked about how Negronis are his favorite drink and how you don't like a Negroni with crushed ice or ice cubes, you like it with a giant ice. Wow, that scared me. The big difference to have a single ice cube than to have a crushed ice. Right. Crushed ice ends up diluting the, the, the cocktail too much, so you get more water and, yeah. you know. And yeah. technically, most cocktails, I think, all the cocktails now that we drink at home, always have the giant right. ice in it. Another purchase that I made for you for Christmas or your birthday or something, this is this is like three or four years ago by now. Yeah, this is the oldest. And you've been using this every time you drink wine or every time you have like just a simple drink in yeah. here. And Kombucha. it is like this really cool goblet looking and I think everyone should own a goblet. I think everyone <laughs> have seen something similar to this. Yeah, you know? they're every I mean There's like wolf ones and there's different you know. ones. This is, has a little drag it has right. like a dragon on it that looks very Game of Thrones esque, right. which is why I got it's it. When we were watching so, that, yeah. Another thing I did buy on Amazon for Christmas, maybe two Christmas, maybe it was like two Christmases ago. We're almost out of this. It is these, if this is like a cool gift concept. If you're, if you know someone in your life, just saying, who loves to cook and likes to use spices, there's also spice versions of these, mm -hmm. but I got the salt version. So this, they look like little test tubes and they look very cool in the kitchen. We already ran out of this one. We already, we're almost oh, out. All, the only, we're out of almost have two, all of them. We're three left. <laughs> but they're different salts from different areas of the world. There's a Spanish chorizo one from Spain. There's so many cool salts that, I mean, we Apple- We still have the best one. Apple would smoke. That's like, actually the chorizo and, and this one are my favorite. The chorizo was really good. Oh, and the tropical hibiscus from that. Hawaii. So while on the topic of- What? While on the topic- <laughs> Cookbooks. So now I know cookbooks are old school when you think about them. We have the internet now, like you can just look up these recipes. Most things, yeah, most things But there's fine. something about physically having this in your kitchen table that looks really cool. And it's just also nice to have your own version of these cookbooks. So we have different ones. This is the Mickey's Gourmet Cookbook. I'm not gonna lie, we have not done one recipe from this just yet. We do plan on it. But our favorite one has been this one. It's the Eat Like Walt cookbook. I took out the cover because it was, getting, to... it was getting ugly, right. but this book is not exactly a cookbook. It does have recipes and we have made several recipes from here. I'll link a video above that we've made a recipe for. So we're getting the potatoes ready to be boiled and we're about to get the eggs boiling. Walt's favorite foods and the restaurants in Disney and kind of like a backstory with a bunch of pictures and then there is a point where it goes into recipes from different uh, resorts, resorts or and the parks like. and yeah 
I think this is a really fun book it to is. own. If you're it's a Disney a fan and you want to make some Disney recipes, I think it's I cool definitely to recommend have this. this one. Have this but, in your kitchen too because it looks cool. But you're not gonna get a ton of recipes. You might get like fifty. It's not yeah. It's not gonna be you know. It's not gonna have this whole yeah. book is not recipes. No. Yeah. We actually plan to do another Eat Like Walt video soon with a few recipes that we saw in here. So hopefully soon enough we'll be doing yeah. that. I thought I'd go ahead and mention this one too. This is Sean Brock. Um, we got this book because we went to his restaurant in uh, uh, Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. Called Huss. Like, I've been a fan of this guy, right. so we went there on purpose. For that reason, I didn't realize Savannah was cool. Yeah. I just went there for the restaurant. Savannah, Georgia is nice. And then like, oh, there's so much more than yeah. this restaurant here. But he's one of my favorite chefs. And this book is honestly beautiful. Like, I just think yes. it's a really pretty it's book. A good book. This guy is like, you know, one of the best chefs in the world. So for me to try to even try to recreate what he's doing, right? It's kind of ridiculous. I don't have all the fancy machines and all the emulsifiers or whatever. He, he wants uses. to be like a five star no, style chef. <laughs> Another thing that I wanted to mention that we can never find in the stores, so we had to go through the Amazon way, are these little coconut creams. We like to make a curry almost every week or every other week or so, and we have tried using other things in our curry like coconut milk. Or yeah. other coconut okay. creams. Right. And it's never the same. This is the best coconut cream yeah. for your curry. If you're a curry person or you want to make a uh, really good And then if you have one that's better than this or one that's really good, let us yeah, know. Yeah, if you have any suggestions because we, we love this one. Yeah. This is organic heavy. So it's really meant for like whipped cream, but oh, it works okay. really well in a curry. Yeah. It makes it so creamy and smooth and like the texture changes. And when we use some other brand or any other form of coconut milk or something like that it just yeah. tastes like water and we're like no we need the coconut cream I recently went on Amazon and purchased like a ton of face masks and the fun part about these face masks is that they're cheap so you can get a ton for like eight dollars or something so for example I got like all of these it's all these different collagen masks at the end of the day this is like a luxury thing but it's like it's just a nice little something to do for yourself and i keep it in the fridge so it's cold once you get out of the shower and your skin's all like open your pores are all open i just put the mask on and it's nice and cold and it just seeps into your skin and you just feel like i don't know do i notice a difference or something i don't know i haven't really paid attention that much but i just feel like it's a nice something to do for yourself and during these days that we're stuck at home why not pamper yourself more same thing with this tea tree oil style face mask. Uh -huh. This is good for if you if you want to prevent yourself from breaking out. And I also got these little like um, collagen eye masks. Now, if you want a more intense face mask, which you've used these as well, this is way more intense. It's like you shouldn't use it very often. You should maybe use it really? once. Yeah, they don't suggest you to oh, use okay. it like every every week. day. No, you can use it maybe once a week at most because it's very harsh on your skin, but it does change your yeah, skin. It feels good out there. This is the Aztec clay mask. And I we've heard this before from many people. It's a very popular face mask. But this one is very powerful. It is like deep cleansing. Now, to do it, you need apple cider vinegar, which we also got from Amazon because you can get almost anything from Amazon. And um, one of these will last forever, by the way. And this will last forever. I've only bought one of these and we've had it for like four years. And look, really? Yes. Because That's we don't, one? now mind you, I, we don't use, we it, don't every use month. it constantly yeah. and it's we're, it's like up to here still, which means we have a long way to go still. You don't, you don't even need much. No. That's right. the thing. In the beginning, we were using like a big scoop and, and then you realize throw it all out. you would yeah. waste a bunch. So really, you just need a little bit and you mix like a, a little. Like a tablespoon or two? Maybe two teaspoons, you know? You don't no. even need to do a tablespoon. You think so? Maybe a oh. tablespoon. If you're trying to do your whole face. But right. if you just want to do certain areas, sure. you don't even need much. And then you combine it with a little splash of apple cider vinegar. It's one of those masks that makes your skin tingle a little bit, like, kind of hurts. Not, not hurts, but like, you feel it it's working. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, but then when you take it off, you're like, whoa, my skin just, smooth. just yeah. went through a lot, but it's like brand new skin again, it feels. The last thing I wanted to mention is kind of the reason also why I wanted to do this Amazon affiliate program thing is because I have gotten three people or mm. more to purchase this specific toy for cats. And I think I've mentioned it in like a Instagram. video. All the time well, I mentioned too. it on Instagram and we, I had people reach out to me saying, send me the link to that cat toy and their cats love the toy too. And I'm gonna start a clip of it now, but it is the little like, it's, I don't know what it's called, but it just kind of goes around in circles. And it's crazy cause Kitty has had this toy for like weeks now. And every time I turn it on, she goes nuts. 
it, I, you would think she'd get over it by now. You would think she'd just be like, okay, I know this, I know how this game works, I'm over it. But no, she gets excited and plays with it. And I really think it's the best cat toy that you can buy. Because, for example, I bought her a cat tunnel, and she couldn't care for that. Well, we haven't bought, we've only had a cat for like six months now. <laughs> so we don't know. We're new cat parents. There might be a, something better. Well, I but, bought her originally like a, a stick with a little attached but this you, mouse, and she but, liked that a lot. Right, but she needed be there, you know. I need to be the whole but, time doing it with her. So this is like, I can just turn it on and I can we can watch our TV. Now, we were on play. Amazon looking for cat toys. And this right. was very affordable and, I mean, right. it's really good. So, yeah. in that sense, it is the best. I think it's one of the best purchases I've made for her. So, update, we ended up buying this little cat toy ball that we found on Amazon. It's basically just a toy ball that, once you set it up, it kind of just has a mind of its own. It basically just goes around the house and Kitty just kind of follows it. What I do like about it is that it always changes direction. So if it gets stuck underneath something, it always ends up popping out, see? And it charges by USB so you don't have to waste batteries. And she has been very curious about this ball. She spends like half an hour just following it everywhere around the house. <laughs> Spoiled cat has a tunnel that she uses sometimes. This toy over here and a little ball going around the house to keep her entertained. Oh. That's the stuff we came up with. I mean, I mean there's, there's probably so much more oh, of course. that we couldn't think of, but I, I was mean, just trying to think when about- When I opened up that drawer, I saw- What? I mean, the scale, the thermometers I use on, but that's way too much. Yeah, we can't go into every whole single life. thing. My like, whole life is on Amazon. <laughs> we buy a lot on Amazon. If you have any specific Amazon purchases that you've made recently or that you love that you want to mention to us, yeah. let us know. Anything cool? But if there's anything that you saw in this video that you think that you want to try out, we have everything is linked down below in the description. <laughs> Thanks for watching and toodaloo!